completely and totally safe because we have a safety engineer on the set with us. Hi, Phil. Oh, hi. Thanks for keeping us safe. Oh, I'm not a safety engineer. Well, then what are you doing here? I'm just installing something. Installing what? An evil vortex to hell. like to welcome everyone to this meeting of KKATM. First of all, are there any new members to the group? Oh, I am, I guess. <laughs> I'm Lori. Hi, Lori. And welcome. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm really stressed out, okay. and uh, my friends suggested that I attend a woman's group. So here I am. And welcome. And you found the right group. We can help. So, what's the trouble? Well, I've just recently gone back to work, and Jeff, my husband, feels neglected because I don't really get to spend very much time with him. Uh -huh. That bastard! Uh -huh. Total evil scum! What a piece of vomit! Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm really busy, so I kind of understand. You don't have to understand anything! He's pestilent filth trying to crush your spirit! He's dog phlegm! A festering boil! Pass on wheel! <laughs> Well, I mean, I appreciate your support, but you... The Mandos! Get the Mandos! Where do you think you're going? Oh, um, well, you know, I, I kind of thought I might do better in the uh, ceramics class down the hall. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lori. Maybe I should explain what this group is all about. All those philosophies and books, women who love too much, smart women, bad choices, well, those are all fine. But we've taken the next step. We've come to realize that women are perfect just the way they are. Nothing is the woman's fault. All problems are caused by men. And that's what KKATM is all about. What exactly do those uh, letters stand for? Kill, kill all the men! Kill, kill all the men! <laughs> it's funny. Well, I mean, it is a joke, right? I know, at first it sounds a little kooky, but after you get used to the idea, it's kind of fun. <laughs> well, I mean, can't we maybe communicate with them a little first? Those other books tried all that and nothing changed. It's time to kill them. Kill them all. Kill them! Kill them all! Big weasel faggot! Uh, hi, is this the how to make candles class? A man! Kill him! Kill him all! Kill him! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, hell, maybe I'll give it eight weeks. the piper i would not believe it Maybe. i would not hey look at dory i finished my album tribute and it's a gun rack also oh, <laughs> what can't you do no oh, Elvis. oh honey it's not like he's dead aliens just kidnapped him to mars we'll get him back honey. and what are those little sparkles on his forehead they're rhinestones to simulate swaying that does it i'm getting a camera <laughs> the elvis gun club has to see this <laughs> The third one this week? But you, you're in it. Mama, Daddy, the neighbor's trailer just got sucked up in a tornado, and it's gone. In the words, how many times have I 
told you not to play in the tornado. Look, you got a flower stuck clean through your head. And it's in perfect condition. Give me the camera. Boy, the inquiry will pay 50 bucks for a freak accident photo. My party. <laughs> Jesus, that's Elvis, the king. Well, it's the king, but it's not Elvis. It's Jesus. No, it's Elvis. Otherwise, why'd he be coming from the refrigerator? He's after our miracle whip. It's Jesus saying, blessed are the hungry, eat up. It's Elvis saying, get me down from Mars. Well, either way, we gotta shrine it off. Ooh, shrine it off. Mama, <laughs> Daddy, I'm feeling kind of woozy. I think I'm gonna lie down over here. page 17, oh, four of the yachts on page 27, and uh, that pig horse on page 87, send that to her slut ship, Lady Camilla Bowles. <laughs> there, I feel so much better now. Oh, look at my shoes. They make my feet look so tiny. Tiny little princess feet. <laughs> Hello, what's this? A man at my window come to rescue his princess? Oh, hi, fair sir window washer. Would you like to do the hokey pokey? Well, if your husband found out, I'd be hanged. Oh, rubbish. Was the gardener hanged? The pool man? Is the pizza boy swinging from a rope anywhere? I think not. Oh, please, your majesty, I can't. I command you as the princess of Wales to run your squeegee across my royal person. <laughs> are doing right this minute. Uh, uh. You did it again, you son of a bitch. You call me Trigger. What Oscar the Grouch is doing right this minute. Get the hell out of here, Al. What's happening at a trailer park right this minute. Mama, Daddy, I want you to meet my new boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, sure. It's right in there. It's 
go to the bathroom. He's just a little shy. <laughs> Cher, mm -hmm. I had to tell you this, mm -hmm. but your new boyfriend, mm -hmm. he's a Bigfoot. <laughs> he is not. Cher, did he touch you? Will you let me live my life? Honey, he's not our kind. Oh, Mama. Honey, think of the children. <laughs> And it's a picture of... That is not... That is Elvis. Elvis. Well, anyway, you better try it off. Try it off. Daddy, a UFO just landed outside, and there's aliens doing their business in our yard. Oh, oh, bastards. Oh, <laughs> First they kidnap Elvis, make him do four shows a night on Jupiter, and now they're dropping brownies on my lawn. <laughs> And you may have that but now, but pretty soon Nice is going to rescue him, and he's going to come through your butt back to Kingdom Come. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, give me my camera. Inquire pays big money for these two. <laughs> now hold it, hold it, hold it! <laughs> oh, program clever and entertaining. I'm not in the show a whole lot. <laughs> I'm Herman Sensitivity, and I'm responsible for all those sappy, sickeningly sweet, phony sitcom moments. Like this one. I'm obnoxious, slovenly, and horny as hell. That makes me Herman's Lust and the Fox Network's target audience. I'm Herman's Anxiety, and right now I'm anxious about us being canceled. Sometimes they argue, usually they don't. This scientifically accurate struggle is going on inside all of us. And we're all in Herman's head. Herman. I'd like to talk to you about your latest report. He hates it. He's gonna fire us. He loves it. He's gonna tell us we're geniuses. He wants to have sex with us. <laughs> Shut up! I'm trying to listen to your constant yammering and yammering in my ears. That's quite enough, young man. Herman, you are fired. Yes, Herman loses his job when he loses his mind. <laughs> gonna be penniless less out on the street. I say we get Herman stinking drunk and take a cheap whore. Eh? No. Too much abuse has gone on for too long. Who said, Who said that? that? I did. Who are you? I am Herman's psychopathic disorder. And from now on, we must be of one mind. This sucks. Oh, yeah? Well, suck on this. Are you doing? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yes. Someday a real rain will come and wash away all the scum off the streets. Herman cracks up, and you will too, when you watch Herman's Unstable Head, Sunday on Fox. Oh, Brad, you've changed. Lyco 
liposuction, a modern-day miracle and one of the most popular plastic surgery procedures of the rich and famous, has now spawned one of the most revolutionary products of all, Lipo Snacks. Now what was once inside major stars can be inside you. Mmm, share. Mmm, Oprah. What better way to feel closer to your favorite celeb than sitting down to a frothy bowl of their former fat cells? And it's delicious, too, once you get used to it. Each flavor bears the picture and autograph of the star it was sucked out of. Over 50 stars to choose from, each with their own personal God-given flavor. So start letting the people you let into your home every day into your stomach, too. I love Roseanne. Lipo Snacks. Because if you can't be a star, at least you can eat one. Lipo Snacks. Time to play. What does the cast have in their bowling bags? James? I got a bloody severed human head. Carol? Me too. Good. Yeah. Bloody severed human head. Wayne? What? Human head, of course. Huh? Ditto on the human head. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer? I've got a bowling ball. What President Bush is doing right this minute. So you voted me out. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you all. <laughs> What the inventor of a car that runs on water is doing, right this minute. Yeah, no, 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 sorry. Help! Help! Please, someone! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry! What Elvis is doing, right this minute. Hello and welcome to Conspiracy Chat, the only show in the world that tells you the latest conspiracies that they are up to and what you can do to protect yourself. I'm your host, Darvin Halpin. Not my real name, of course. You never know who might be watching. With me today are Ken and Frida. Not their real names either, so don't get any ideas. Hello. Would it be possible for me to have my face distorted for this? No. No, it doesn't matter. They have ways of getting around it these days. Really? I should mention that we are broadcasting from a brand new undisclosed location, so trying to find us is pointless. Now, let's talk conspiracy. What's the latest? Well, I just found out they are putting special weird drugs into our vitamins so that they can control our minds. Oh, frightening. What evidence have you uncovered? Well, I always got the same vitamins for years and all of a sudden they tasted different and I felt kind of strange, kind of hyper and paranoid. Yes, yes, yes. what'd you do? I threw them away. Not in my house, though. I threw them into the ocean. <laughs> in case they were giving off mind-controlling radiation. That's brilliant. I should say that I think they're the same drugs they were injecting into my apples a few weeks ago and coating my pantyhose with last month. Oh, so, no vitamins, no fruit, no pantyhose, and we all should be relatively safe? A uh, men should avoid jockey shorts. Boxers are safe, though. I can vouch for that. Oh, just a quick reminder, if your neighbor gets a satellite dish, He's not trying to get a hockey game. He's trying to control your mind. So wait until he's asleep at night and then just take an axe to the whole evil mess. Okay, uh, let's go to the phone lines. We can't show our number for obvious reasons, but if you're resourceful, I'm sure you can get it. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. I'd just like to say that most of the pet dogs and cats in our country today have been replaced with robots that send out radio waves that control our minds. Wow, that's scary. Yeah. But when you try to cut them open to see if they're a robot, they send out more signals that cloud your mind more, so it seems like they have normal guts. Okay, thanks for the warning, and we have to move on, just in case you're one of them trying to trace the call, huh? Uh, next caller, you're on the air. Hi, I found out that microwave ovens with carousels are putting out special signals that control our minds. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, sorry, folks. We get some real nutcases that call in here. Probably one of them trying to throw us off. Darvin, who's the cameraman? Harvey, is that a new cameraman? Yeah, Phil was sick. He called this morning. I think this is too convenient. I 
have to agree with him. No, I gotta go. No, me too. Hey, I think as a precautionary measure, we should just end the show right now. We will see you, I can't say when or where from, or they might be able to find us. So until then, run!